Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey, you guys, what's up? So in today's video, y'all, I am doing a collective haul. I'm also in my very comfy hoodie right now because your girl is cold and I didn't have any sweaters that were clean to wear. So if this is a little too casual for you, I'm sorry, but I am cozy, comfy, and warm, and that's all that matters. Some of these items I have not talked about on my channel at all. Uh, some of these items I have, but the thing is, I feel like uh, you'll see when I get, like show them in this video that they didn't get enough camera time and I want to maybe go a little bit more in depth regarding the items. And so with all that being said, um, if you have any of these items, you can let me know down in the comments section. I will also link shopping links down below if you want to check anything out. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let's get right into the video. The first two items that I'm gonna be talking about are shoes, but they're also not with me. I have them packed up, ready to travel with me, and I just like them. And so the first pair of shoes is or are going to be my Nike Dunk Lows. I think in like hype, Cobol, I don't even know if it's hype beast. I think it's just like hype Cobol or something like that. And I got these in Dubai. I talked about this in another video that I bought myself a pair of shoes. I didn't pay too much for them. I think 120 to $140 max. So they weren't really expensive. I like Nike, well, I like Air Force One, but I also like Nike Dunk Lows, even though they're a little too flat for me, but I like this color combination and I haven't seen it in a Nike store or any type of shoe stop, shop in um, Germany or in Florida where I live. So I was like, you know what? It's a nice little purchase to have. Um, I got a little Dubai pin for the shoes. So it's like a sentimental memory purchase that I made for myself. The next pair of shoes for this collective haul, which are not with me, unfortunately, but they deserve an honorable mention because they are beautiful and they are amazing, are my Jimmy Choo Besa, Besa um, sandals with the crystal straps and the floral print. I got them on sale at the Jimmy Choo outlet for around a high to low three, I believe. I don't recall how much they were. Um, they were an impulse purchase because I like anything sparkly. <laughs> I like anything that shines and they were low enough. The thing was, I wasn't gonna buy any shoes from Jimmy Choo, especially the outlet shoes because they were all very high heeled shoes. And I'm a jolly green giant and I don't need to be in heels that are six, five, four plus inches tall because then I'm sitting at the six foot plus mark and I'm towering over every single person and I personally don't like that. And so I like a strong like two inch, three inch heel max and this was one of those like thin heels where it's not too bulky or thick. It was an open toed like sandal strappy so when you're seeing it from the front it doesn't look like I call them like old grandma kitten heels. It doesn't look like that. And even from the side, because of how the heel is structured, it doesn't look like an old grandma <laughs> kitten heel. There's nothing wrong with those types of shoes, you guys. It's just, I don't like the way that they look, but I prefer having a smaller heel. So it's very hard to find the perfect combination of something that doesn't look too mature or too church-esque and still being like cute, sexy, youthful, and fun. The next item, no more shoes. No more shoes. It was a technology item and it is something that I have on and you guys have most likely seen it but I haven't announced it or talked about it and it is my Apple Watch Ultra. I get so many compliments and I get asked about this watch all the time, especially at the airport. They will come up to me and ask me if it is the Apple Watch Ultra and if they can see it. And I'm like, yeah, sure. And they ask me how long it lasts. That's always, how long does it last? That's always the number one question that I get asked about this watch. And it lasts usually if I'm not doing any crazy activity, just have it on, it's counting my steps, um, all that good. Someone calls me, I read text messages on it. It lasts me a good strong three days. I got it with the Alpine Loop, I think it's called, with the beige, like the hook and like hook and hole <laughs> band and I like the color but I hate the material and I hate how cumbersome it is to hook everything and then unhook it especially when you shower because with this one I do shower with this granted I take it off and I dry it off um, and I dry my skin but when I have the alpine loop fabric material it stays 
wet and then sometimes I get like a rash on my wrist and that I find to be disgusting um, and very annoying and so I kept my SE band even though it's way too small for this watch. Moving into clothing, I'm going to show you two items from Patagonia you guys. I love Patagonia. I went there the other day and I got two items which I, did I need them? I One I needed, one I did not need. So the first thing I'll show you is the thing that I needed and that I've been wanting. And it is this wonderful Patagonia vest. This is, let me see the name so I can tell you guys. It is the Nano Air vest in black. And uh, y'all, I love like the, like the puffer vest look, but when I tried it on at Patagonia, I did not like how puffy it was. And also it was extremely tight compared to this one. This one, in my opinion, was a little bit more stretchy. You had a little bit more of a feminine fit. It was very sculpting fit, like it wasn't too tight, but it kept everything where it needed to be. And it also sat a little like lower. I don't like when vests are sitting like above where your pants are. I like them to go right like above your butt. And Patagonia, I do have to say, for my body type, y'all, they have really good fits. I don't know what it is. I'm top heavy, bottom heavy, and granted their stuff runs relatively small, but if you go up a size, you can usually find amazing fitted items. The next item is something that I do not need, but I love, and I wore it today. I've worn it the other day, and this thing is amazing. And it is this, I don't even know what this is called. I'll include like a picture from the website. I went to Lululemon and I wanted to buy a Define jacket cropped in this like bright pink color. I went there, tried it on, wasn't in love. And it was on sale, y'all. It was on sale for $70. And I was like, I'm just gonna get it because it was on sale. But then I told myself, no, don't get it because the colors off. It's not the pink that you want it to be. And I told myself, just go to Patagonia, see what they have. And if they have something pink that you're looking for, try it on and maybe get it. I found like a lot of pink stuff, but this was like hidden in the store and I saw it. I tried it on. I wasn't too like in love seeing it hanging, but when I tried it on y'all, oh, it was so cute. And I don't like these um, banded bottoms. I know that a lot of people disliked. I am one of those people. I dislike them as well because first and foremost, if you're wearing something underneath like a shirt, it'll lift it up as well. And sometimes you get like this bulky form or if you're wider on the bottom, it can like cut off the circulation down there. It's uncomfortable. But this one is a medium. It fit me. I think it's called the marsupial cinchilla in I don't know what color it is. This was a hundred and thirty dollars. And then the nano puffer vest was I think it came out to 200. It came out to like 190. I like both of them. They're amazing. And I'm happy to finally have something that color in my collection. The next thing, let's start with or go on to another colored item, which is a tiny little purchase, which in my opinion is so cute and I love it to death. And I used to have one of these. I'm pretty sure that I lost it or I sold it or I got rid of it and it was white, but it is my Longchamp, uh, coin pouch, just pouch, little tiny pouch that I keep coin. Do I have money in here? I have a few dollars in here. Wow. I keep usually tampons, money, um, perfume samples, and then I just throw it in a purse. And the reason I got this is because A, it's their newest pink. I went into the Longchamp store and this was their new collection pink. And I was gonna get the bag, y'all. But then I thought to myself, don't be ridiculous because you literally just got two like Longchamp pink bags. You don't need another pink bag. What is wrong with you? So I got myself this color and then I got my friend for her birthday. I want to, what, what did I get? I don't, I don't know if it was the teal color or the orange color. I'm not advising you to get it. I'm just telling you that I really like it. <laughs> the next three items are going to be sunglasses. This is why I said in my unboxing of my Louis Vuitton aviators that I don't need any more sunglasses because these three are new. And I will start with most affordable to most expensive. The first ones, let's start with the most affordable ones. I got to choose a Gucci box for them because they did not have a Givenchy, Givenchy sunglass case for them. 
and this is what they look like. Now, I, let me try them on first and then I'll get into my um, review of these sunglasses. Nothing really to write home about and there's minimal branding. You can't tell they're Givenchy unless you know the logo here. And so it was buy one, get one 50 or 60% off of the sunglasses. They had Gucci, they had Prada, they had Chloe, they had every brand that you could ever imagine they had there and it was part of the deal. And so I got these for around 80 bucks, which I thought was a decent price. Now that I own them, they're not. I will try to include the number down below, but for 80 bucks, I'm like, this is how much I pay for a pair of key sunglasses. I mean, sometimes I buy those buy one, get one free. So they're like 35 a piece. But when I get them not on sale, they're like 60, 70 plus dollars. So for 10 bucks more, I'm getting a name brand item, even though it's like the base lowest model of name brand luxury. The next pair are in this Balenciaga case. Like I said, they're not Balenciaga and these were in a, ri a ridiculous purchase, you guys, but I love them so much. And I will try to put on a, like a picture of me wearing them because I think they're amazing. And they are these Max Mara, um, I think this is tortoise, I, like a, that brown multicolor print. You can see on the side it says Max Mara here, and this is what they look like on, y'all. I just wanted a pair of cute brown sunglasses, and this is what I got. And like I said, these were from Saks Off Fifth as well, and I also paid maybe $100 dollars for them. Actually, these were buy one, get one free, these two sunglasses, y'all. It wasn't buy one, get one 50% off. It was buy one, get one free, if I'm not mistaken. So I paid all together 170 for both. And so that equates to like 85 bucks a piece for these. And I thought that was a pretty good deal for a pair of nice sunglasses. But when I am comparing them to the Givenchy ones, these are a little bit more sturdy and just like when you open them, it's not so flimsy, like it has a little substance to it. And that means getting into my more expensive pair of sunglasses, y'all. And this is something that I talked about, in, I think in my luxury wish list of things I wanted and I couldn't get them and it's very hard to come by them, but I finally got them. And these are Prada. I believe they're new season. At least when I got them, they were new season, but I got them so, like, it took so long to get these sunglasses, y'all, that they're probably not considered new anymore. And these are the Prada, I don't even know what these are called, but they are green marble on the side with the Prada logo in a brownish tortoise shade, and then also brown framed, like, lenses. And this is what they look like on, oh, yeah. the, there, I think there's like a more popular version of Prada sunglasses that I see everyone wearing and they're a little bit more like an octagon or a hexagon shape, more round circular with edges and I think all black, but I wanted a pop of color and I wanted something that was a neutral color, so black or brown, a very, um, how do you say, classic shape that isn't too trendy of a shape, but still like young and youthful. And that's how I got these and why I got these. Next item is an item that I did an unboxing on, but I felt like it was overshadowed by my negativity in the video. And it is my Louis Vuitton Bot Chapeau Souple um, MM bag. And I just noticed today, even though I've worn this bag, like my receipts are in there. Let's see what I did and where I went. I went to the pharmacy. Oh, and I bought oh, popcorn at the movie theater. For me, this is such a beautiful bag. It's such a fun bag for me. It's a big deal for me to purchase this bag. I've been talking about this bag for so long on my channel and I'm just so happy to have it. So I wanted it to get a little bit more camera time and I wanted you guys to know that it is wonderful, it is beautiful, and I love it. I'm still trying to work out the kinks of how to um, wear it, um, how to shorten it, how to lengthen it. I mean, I know how to do these things, but I'm just trying to figure out what works best for me. The last 
and final, ooh, ooh, gotta throw it, you guys. The last and final item that I have here, you guys, is something extremely big, but I'll be able to lift it up and show you. And I think I talked about this in my luxury wish list, or maybe I talked about it when I purchased the smaller version of this, but I finally got my Remova oh, check-in <laughs> L um, essential bag in white. And I was gonna do a whole unboxing and a whole like review of this bag, of this luggage piece when I got it, but I opened it up and I wanted to pack it. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't want to wait around for that. So I'm just showing you guys it's in this collective haul. I think I'm going to do a dedicated video though to a review of this bag, my cabin, like essential, my essential cabin bag, not the small one, but the bigger one. Um, show you the size comparison, show you what fits inside, and also show you guys another little item from Remova that I got. I haven't told y'all. I don't know if I have like uploaded the video or not because I did a video of the item and you guys will just have to watch that video if you want to see and show all of the pieces that I got together and what they look like, what fits inside, how I travel. And yeah, I'm really in love. I wanted the pink, not the pink, the lavender or the yellow of this bag, y'all, but they did not have any colors available. They had black, glossy or matte, green, silver, not silver, slate, so gray, and I think that was it. I was going to get the same color like check-in bag that is my cabin essential bag, which is the blue, the Assor blue color. They did not have it. I couldn't order it online. So they did not have white in store. They only had white and black available online. And so I ordered the white one. I paid for express shipping and it is here now for my trip to Florida. I'm very scared about it getting dirty. I mean, it's inevitable because it's white, but I do have to say with the um, polycarbonate that it's pretty sturdy. And if there is a, like a scratch, a dent, color, anything like that, you can take um, a wet wipe and you scrub it a little bit and it generally buffs out or at least takes the color out so it doesn't look so deep, so like gashing and so nasty and so dirty. If it does get dirty, I'll just start putting stickers on it because I think that adds a lot of personality to the Remova bags out there. Very happy about this piece. And I think that's everything from my collective haul, you guys. Like I said, very hodgepodge, very all over the place. But thank you so much for watching, you guys. I love y'all. Have a wonderful day and bye.